So I went out yesterday and bought some switches. Um, I got two types of switches. This one is a rotary switch which has six positions. So this is position one and then you've got two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this one has two poles um, but I only really need one of them. So basically the way this works is there's 12, 12 pins on the outside and two pins on the inside. Um, and basically you connect um, basically when the when the switch is is in the position for the specific pin uh, these two are connected together so basically what we have here is a potential divider um, so this is 10k which goes along the green wire to ground um, Yellow is the sort of 5 volts which would be put into uh, the pole on the switch. And then basically each, what we're going to do is, each pin will be connected to a, a different weighted resistor. Um, which means we'll get a different voltage that we can read with analog read. Um, and the resistors are, you know, sort of, not arbitrary, but can be really whatever. So I've gone uh, 1k, 2.2k, then it goes 4.7, then there's a 10k, then there's a 22k, and then the last one is a 47k. Um, so if I show you the multimeter, um, so basically, as I as I go through and change these. Um, so this is the 1K, which would be position six. And then we go to the 2.2K uh, and you know, and so on. So basically that gives us six different um, voltage ranges that we wanna look out for in the code. Um, and basically use that to decide what position the switch is in. Um, so the other switch is just a, a normal pot, uh, basically. So we've got, this is full left, this is the middle, and this is the right. Uh, and so this this other switch is essentially a very, um, a very accurate potential divider. So what we're gonna do is we're going to connect 5 volts to the left pin, which I've done there just by holding it in. Then ground, well, uh, ground goes on the right pin. And then we take a voltage reading from the middle. Um, Yeah, so that's 2.59. So all the way to the left is zero volts. All the way to the right is essentially five. And then the middle kind of gets you around around 2.5. Um, so that's pretty much all the electronics worked out. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, draw a schematic and then uh, move it onto this strip board stuff um, so it's more permanent and I also need to work out how I'm going to uh, sort of mount these switches because obviously you can't um, this needs to be stuck to something so you can connect to all the pins on the bottom